Sukhoi's Hunter B, Akhotnik B, the first Russian heavy drone, was created according to the flying wing aerodynamic scheme. The takeoff mass of the machine was about 20 tons, the device was equipped with a jet engine. The drone has an anti-radar range and is equipped with optoelectronic, radio engineering, and other types of reconnaissance equipment. The device made its first fully controlled flight with takeoff, maneuvers, and landing on August 03, 2019. As later reported in the military department, the flight of the device took place at an altitude of up to 600 meters around the airfield. The drone was controlled by the operator from the ground. The Hunter entered the final stage of ground tests, which Interfax reported on June 28, 2018. At the Novosibirsk Aviation Plant, Nenez, a branch of the Sukhoiev company, the first launch of the UHT Man drone was carried out. It passed ground tests on the eve of the first flight. The result of this test is to create an unmanned reconnaissance and attack system that has high speed and autonomy. The Hunter is characterized as a sixth generation unmanned aerial vehicle. It is only known that in Hunter B, it is planned to use the technology of the candidate for the T 50 heavy fighter, P at KFA. The S 70 UAV demonstrator is reportedly manufactured at the Novosibirsk Shkalov Aviation Plant, a branch of Sukhoi's PJSC company. It is expected that flight tests of the new device will begin in 2018 and in 2020 it will become operational. It can be assumed that this drone will have characteristics similar to the American X-47B drone developed by Northrop Grumman. Okhotnik has a top speed of 1000 km slasha. This drone is highly autonomous thanks to its AI brain. What's more, some of the technology and ammunition have been borrowed from the fifth generation fighter Su-57. They potentially include the OFZA-B500 High Explosive Incendiary Bomb and the ODA-B500 PMV Fuel Air Bomb, which were used during the campaign in Syria. It is not only one of the first attack drones built in Russia, but also a platform for testing sixth-generation fighter technologies. In Russian military terms, fully robotic means no pilot and the ability to make independent combat decisions from start to finish. It can be seen that the wingspan of the Hunter B drone is significantly wider than that of the Su-57, but the fuselage length is shorter than that of the Su-57. The comprehensive landmark outline and dimensions of the Su-57 to 19.8 meters long and 13.95 meters wingspan conclude that the Hunter B drone should have a wingspan of 17.6 meters and a fuselage length of 13.6 meters. It could be speculated from the size of the same trailer that the height of the plane should have been 2.8 meters. Without tail layout, altitude between Su-57 and Su-34. The Russian Okhotnik Hunter heavy attack drone conducted its first joint test flight with a fifth generation Su-57 fighter jet, which lasted just over 30 minutes, the Russian Ministry of Defense said on September 27, 2019. During the flight, the Okhotnik drone had a flying wing configuration and made using special materials and coatings that make them practically invisible to radar, the statement said. The drone was carrying optoelectronic, radio engineering, and other types of reconnaissance equipment, he added. Deliveries of the new Okhotnik stealth drone to the Russian Ministry of Defense will begin in 2024. The head of the United Aircraft Corporation, UIC, Yuri Slyusar, reported this on 03 August 2020 to Russian President Vladimir Putin. We got the task from the Ministry of Defense to speed up the development work, so that deliveries start already in 2024. The Sukhoi S-70 Okhotnik, Hunter in Russian, will enter production in 2023, while the manufacturer is working on upgrading the drone's ground control equipment. The deadline was revealed by Sergei Chemzov during a meeting with President Vladimir Putin. The Russian Defense Ministry previously indicated it would receive S-70s in bulk from 2024, but the head of Rostec said deliveries may start a year earlier.